guys some brand new tutorial for you guys. It's a masking transition, and um, yeah. Um, by the way, sorry for not posting yesterday. Uh, I tried to, but I had I honestly had no time whatsoever. So I'm gonna try and post twice a day, but starting really late in the day, so probably won't be able to do that either. But hopefully this satisfies you guys. Um, so yeah. What you're gonna need to do is um, you're gonna need to have two clips and make sure that the first cl the first clip, its actual layer is under the uh, second clip, as you can see right here, and um, make sure there's a little bit of space in between the two clips, and that um, the uh, the second clip, make sure that it's like when it comes in. The uh, the intervention is nice and clean, like straight and everything, so that when you mask it out, it masks out nicely. So yeah. So first thing you have to do is you're just gonna duplicate the uh, second layer, and you're gonna right click it and go to time freeze frame. So now you just got a freeze frame. Um. So what you're gonna do is you can just drag it what's happening okay ah, yeah so just drag it and make sure it, and you can make it a uh, overlap this uh, bottom layer which is the first clip so make make sure there's like a decent amount of overlap because that's pretty much where the transition is actually happening so yeah so second thing you have to do is now you just have to Make sure the freeze frame is um, uh, selected, and you're gonna first zoom in, and then just mask this out. So press the pen tool, and then just I'm gonna do this very quickly. But when you guys are doing this, uh, definitely take your time on it, so it looks much nicer. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do it very quickly. Whoops. And then... Oh yeah, I kind of did that a little wrong, but... You can just press Ctrl Z if you mess up. Oh yeah, and by the way guys, um just when you uh when you're done masking it out, make sure that you add a little bit of feathering to make it look nicer and to make it less uh linear. Because there are a lot of um curves in this gun, so it's kind of hard considering using a the pen tool which is a very linear like um tool. So yeah. And then just connect. Okay, so now that you have this, it's pretty much just a um, uh, a gun. And if you just come over here, you'll see that it uh, it's already on top of the first uh, clip. So that's good. But instead of just uh, popping up randomly like it does right here you're going to want to animate it in so go to the first frame where it pops up and you're going to want to press position keyframe the position and uh, slide slide this down like that so that's out of the uh, out of the picture and then you're going to go about midway where the, uh, the freeze frame and the first clip overlap so that's about right there and you're gonna make this 360 which puts it back to normal 
so now that's that slides in and that's nice but now you gotta find a way to put the background in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just duplicate this top freeze frame the masking of the um, the gun which you can press a uh, control D to do that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press M to go to masks and you're gonna press inverted or you could press uh, subtract so either way is your choice it doesn't really matter um, but I just uh, pressed inverted and so now you got this but pretty much that's just all it looks like is just the actual clip just sliding up so that's not what you want so what you're going to do is you're going to go to position where you put the key for keyframe in and you're going to on keyframe position and make this back to 360 if it isn't already so that's uh, so that's fine and then what you're going to do is you're going to press T for opacity and you're going to go you're going to go to where the the last keyframe for position is for the gun and you're going to make that you're going to keyframe the opacity for the background and you're going to make it uh, sorry for that you're going to make it zero and then you're going to go to where the end of the first clip is where the overlap ends so that's about here and you're going to make it a hundred so now if I just uh, show this to you you got the the gun coming in and then the background fading in so that's pretty much the basics of that tutorial um just to make it you has gotta um just make this better you gotta uh highlight both of the mask and then you could just cut that so split layer and delete those and then um so yeah and then just after the transition it just starts and um oh one more thing forgot to do this as I told you before you gotta just uh you feather a little bit of the, the gun so I guess you can make it like 10 makes it look good so you can see this just coming out nice and rounded and then fades in and the clip starts so yeah it's pretty much just a tutorial decently simple so but it's a very nice effect um so yeah I guess I'll just round preview this out By the way, these clips are just um, some clips I found on YouTube that were uh, free clips to edit, so don't really pay attention to the clips. Um, so yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, so pretty much like I think that after you learn once how to mask something, you pretty much learn to mask anything, and that like that really enables you to do a lot of different things. So, yeah, um, hopefully you guys now know how to do a bunch of things, uh, with the masking tool and stuff, so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just start this, if this is, I don't know what's happening, Uh, sorry for this guy, but for some reason my After Effects just isn't uh, responding. Come on. Alright, well, sorry for this, but, uh, it's not really working right now, so, yeah, I'm just gonna see, I'm just gonna say bye to you guys now, um, so, yeah, uh, peace and I will just render it and put it out put the uh... the preview inside the video so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh... peace